Hey everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com and today we're going to talk about, well, we're going to talk about diversity, so diversity in your workout and why it's so important. So, in my opinion, I would have to say that it really comes down to three really main things, injury, recovery, and gains. So, what am I talking about here? And I'll give you some uh, personal experience that I've had, especially recently, um, that really covers all three of these things. And I, I preach talking about diversity and talking about changing what you're doing. Don't always do the same thing. Don't go in the gym and do arm curls, you know, exactly the same. Maybe you have two go-to exercises. I mean, if you don't have a ton of equipment, if you don't have a lot of things you can do, then you are going to be limited but you can do so many things. There's so many exercises available to us, even if you're just using your body weight. You know, there's so many things you can do and just look for these different alternatives that you can do because they will help you in so many ways. And to give you an example, let's talk about, let's talk about injury first, okay. So I've been doing my CrossFit and I really enjoy it. I love doing it. I try to go as much as I possibly can. I've been going, uh, I would say almost five days a week religiously for the last couple months and because of this I haven't been able to do very many home workouts and I've talked about it a little bit and so what's happened is it feels like over time now because I'm doing my CrossFit workouts in the gym and I'm doing that that I'm, I feel like I'm getting fatigued and I've actually been getting some little annoying injuries my knee's been okay actually I've been working through that I figured out how to avoid my injuring my knee or, or, and, or irritating it. So even though it's kind of, there's an, uh, there's, there is a knee injury that I have, I know what not to do and it's, it's uh, I'd say it's 90% good. And that's, that's good enough. I can still do all my strength training stuff. I can't run and I don't really want to run out. I don't want to do really quick box jumps and things like that. I don't need to do that. I can still do a lot of the things I want to do and not irritate my knee. So I'm talking about other things. I mean, just doing shoulder stuff. So we've been doing a lot of like, at my CrossFit gym, what do we do for shoulders? Well, we do a lot of a lot of pressing. We do a lot of push press, so where you engage the lower body. We do a lot of strict press in front of the head, behind the head. And that's really what we do for shoulders mainly. We don't do any isolation stuff. So we're always putting this pressure on our shoulders in the socket itself. You get your arms back, you're putting pressure on there. And same with bench. When you get your arms out a little bit and you're doing bench with the bar, it starts to get into that shoulder, or even flies. Flies going up, flies going out, like dumbbell press will irritate those shoulders, especially if you have already have some sort of injury going on. So we've been doing a lot of that. And my shoulder has just not been healing. It's been getting progressively more irritated to the point now where I'm not even doing this, the pressing. I'm going in there, they do have dumbbells, thank goodness they have dumbbells. So, you know, our coach is awesome. He's like, just do something else. So I'll do flies in front, I'll do front flies like out the side, the back, straight up like that. And at least I can work my shoulders and I've been doing shrugs, so that's fine. And But what I found is because of this over and over, constantly doing this, not really doing flies at the CrossFit gym, I've been, I've been damaging my shoulder. I've been hitting that one spot, irritating that one area over and over again because I haven't been diverse in my workouts. And I've always said that, I've, you can't see it, but my total gym here, I've always said that the total gym, one thing that's really good about it is because you have to support your weight differently than from free weights because it's a cable system. You really have to work those supporting muscles. I feel it's a great way to um, rehab injuries, to prevent injuries. And so I'm going to step back a bit from CrossFit, not like I'm not going to stop going, but I'm probably going to go three to four days a week and try and do a few more workouts at home, incorporating my total gym. Uh, incorporating some uh, just doing flies and things like that stuff that is going to hit the muscle a little bit differently put less um, I guess strain on the muscle because you're doing the exact same thing over and over again and that's the problem with not having a diverse workout routine is you're going to potentially injure those areas because of the constant rep repetition over and over again and that's one thing about CrossFit even though you are doing a variety of things what you do for those muscle groups, there's only so much you can do. So we do lots of pull-ups, you know, we'll do different sort of pull-ups, but, and we'll do different things, but it's kind of repetitive. We do, you know, narrow grip push-ups most of the time, we'll go wide a little bit, but there definitely is a lot of repetition sort of in the core components of the exercises we do. And it does put strain on the muscles, especially if you're going five days a week. So 
That's sort of the, I've um, got a little cheat sheet over here. That's the injury side of it. So recovery side of things, again, along the same lines, when you're doing a diverse workout routine and you're not doing, say, I'm gonna use the shoulder example, you're not doing shoulder press or push press over and over again, you're doing something different. So one week you do shoulder press, the next week you give that a little bit of rest time and you do, say, isolation shoulder stuff where you're doing raises, right? And you know, you're, you're sort of getting away from doing the constantly the same thing. You're still hitting that muscle group, but you're hitting the joint. It's more the joint, the movement of the joint, you're hitting it slightly different. And there's benefits in there um, because it allows, if you do have any injury or inflammation or a muscle that's recovering or just healing up from the last workout, not even a negative bad thing, but it just, it's been hit hard, it needs to sort of just heal up. Then you can hit it a little bit differently with a different type of exercise and still get some great benefits and that muscle will recover, that joint will recover a lot better than if you're doing the exact same exercise again and again and again. And I've noticed that because I've just started doing some other things in, in for my shoulders and it's already starting to feel better. So that's a, a good thing. Now the last thing was uh, gains. So workout diversity, gains. And here again, like I haven't used my, my total gym really for any type of serious like working out in almost a month and a half, two months. I haven't really been using it, probably a good two months. And so yesterday I went back and I said, okay, I'm gonna go back. I, I hadn't really done chest too much in the CrossFit gym. So I thought I'm gonna do a chest workout on my total gym. And I'm telling you, I mean, even though I'm strong in the CrossFit arena and doing the CrossFit exercises, I'm getting gains and I'm getting stronger at those particular exercises we do. I can do tons of push-ups and all those things and bench press, all that stuff getting stronger. I actually went down in my total gym. I didn't have the strength that I normally have in those same exercises. I couldn't do as many reps with as much weight on, I put add weight to my total gym. I had to have less weight and I couldn't do as many reps. So that's telling me that, you know, there's other little supporting muscles and other areas in my chest or whatnot that aren't getting developed because I haven't been using the total gym. So when you do diverse, when you add diversity to your workouts, mix it up, change it up, try and incorporate as many types of exercises as you can and ways to hit that muscle group, you're going to build it in different areas and strengthen different areas and overall make that a stronger muscle group. And I just totally, you know, and I've said it before, but I, you know, sometimes you gotta relive it yourself and you've gotta go back to your basics again and go, yeah, I did say that and I need to go back and do this thing. So again, I'm gonna go back and start doing some more at-home stuff on my total gym. I mean, it's not like I got weaker over because I was doing CrossFit. It's not like I'm in less better shape. It's just that, you know, I haven't done certain things and those areas have fallen off slightly and I don't like that. I just, it's, you know, nobody likes to step back, right? So I'm gonna just reapproach this a little bit and at least for the next little while, I'm gonna probably, you know, go three to four days CrossFit, try and do a little more at-home stuff. And I think I mentioned this, but I've been feeling like more broken down uh, because I think I've been doing maybe a little too much CrossFit. You know, if I was maybe 20, I could probably have no problem doing it, but now that I'm, you know, almost well, almost 45 next year, maybe 45, you know, doing the CrossFit five days a week and the repetition that's involved, and just not really giving my body a full re enough recovery time, because I'm telling you, I'm sore all the time. CrossFit is like something is sore all the time, and we hit legs at least two days a week, two to three days a week. I mean, we're hitting them every day, but we hit them hard two days a week. We do some sort of squat on Monday. We usually do some sort of deadlift on Thursday. Through the rest of the week, we're doing all kinds of other stuff, rowing, lunges, I mean, you name it, we're incorporating all kinds of stuff. So they never really get a, a full rest and it's, it's really um, hard on them. So again, my cheat sheet, workout diversity is going to improve your injuries. So a lot, you're gonna have less injuries. You're going to have uh, quicker recovery times if you have more diversity in your workouts and you're gonna get better gains, right? So um, there's three things there that I really feel hugely strongly about um, trying to diversify your workout. So the more types of activities you can throw at yourself and, and just go looking for them. If you, if you don't know what to do, then just you know watch some of my videos, watch other people's videos. There's tons of stuff out there that'll show you all, sort of all, all sorts of alternatives you can do for your different body parts and muscle groups. All right, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I'm gonna continue to try and show as many diverse types of exercises as I possibly can. You know, you figure out what works for you, right? I mean, everybody's a little different 
and it also depends on what you have at home and what you have access to. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.